won't believe what we've got in there. We've got Armani, we've got Guess, we've got Lipsy. We even found some Fendi in there as well. Shall we see what little treasures we can find you today? Yeah, do you want some new baby toys? Do you want to have a look? Yeah, or do you just want this toy, the camera? <laughs> yep, she always wants to grab the camera, don't you? Oh, you want to vlog? Okay then, hold the camera. Right, do a bit of vlogging. Yay! Yay! You vlog for the first time! Say? And oh my goodness. Can you see? Oh, oh. Ah. Yeah. Did you see that anything there? What's good, Fizz Fam? I thought I'd do a bit of a CNA intro there. What's good, Fizz Fam? Hope you all have an amazing day. We're here in Dubai, the sunny land in the Middle East. It's absolutely gorgeous here, guys. We're actually gonna be staying here for four weeks. It's a really nice, long, extended stay here. Maybe not, actually. I did contact him earlier today and just ask um, about if they've got any villas with better views. Okay, okay then, okay. This villa doesn't have an amazing view. Darren is all about the views, guys. Sure. So, guys, today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different and something which I'm really excited about. I am such a charity shop, AKA thrift shop geek. When I was a little girl and a teenager, I used to literally spend like my weekends going around charity shops with my nanny and granddad. I loved going in there with like a limited amount of money. That you know, have £10 and you knew that you could find loads of bargains. I don't really do it so often anymore. When like Senna was a baby, I used to rely on them loads to get her baby grows and clothes because they're like super cheap. Like there's a bargain bucket usually in them in the UK and you can get like five items for a pound. It's like yeah, so good value. Do, yeah. I love charity shops. It's a really great way to recycle clothing. So if you don't want your clothes anymore, don't throw them in the bin, which goes on a landfill site. Donate them to a charity shop because then like this knock on effect where people will then be able to buy those items so it gives that charity shop money you're helping to save the planet and also I really like it because obviously the money goes to the charity and people also get a good bargain who may not have a lot of money either so it's like a win-win situation anyway some no, advocate no, for the charity shop I've got a question because I'm pretty sure that only in the UK we say charity shop I feel like the rest of the world says thrift store so comment down below whether you say charity shop or thrift store in yes. the part of the world where you live Good However, question. do you know one thing is usually yeah. Australians tend to say the same as English or British people. Yeah, they do, don't they? I don't go in them as often anymore, not because I don't want to buy clothes or things from there. It's just sometimes it takes a long time because you can't guarantee what you're going to find in there. So I don't often have the time to do that. However, today, because there is only one charity shop in Dubai, it's making it like a special, really cool thing. So we're going to be going there. And I think the charity shop raises money for people in the community who have learning disabilities. And I'm all up for supporting learning disability charities because I used to actually work for a charity when we lived in Norfolk. So we're going to be getting a train there today. It's really fun because we get to go out and see another part of Dubai. It's a bit of an exploring thing. And also we're going to see what goodies we can find in Dubai's only charity shop. And apparently, if you're lucky, people donate some very highly expensive luxury items in there such as I've seen a YouTube video where some people have found a Gucci bag in there and some like brand new trainers because obviously this area is quite affluent so I feel like people donate some very good stuff so we're really excited for that so we want to get some baby stuff and hopefully maybe you can get some Gucci that'd be pretty cool wouldn't it and then you can see if you want any like toys or any books as well you yeah. can see if there's any clothes in there and you you might we've get got some... some stuff to donate as well haven't we? yeah we have as well yeah this isn't luxury expensive stuff but whatever yeah we'll okay yeah because every goes obviously with a baby who's grown out of clothes and stuff like that so we're going to donate some of karma's old baby clothes there and then hopefully we'll be able to buy some like new toys for her to use in this apartment like maybe some bigger items like a baby walker or something because i looked on the website and they have loads of stuff in there it's like really big so anyway guys let's go and we'll see you at the charity I shop. So it took a little bit of finding. We have finally found it. This is about three quarters of a mile walk from the metro station, but here it is. You see it across the road, Dubai Charity Centre. So this is apparently Dubai's only charity shop. Let's go and see what we can find. I can see loads of kids stuff outside straight away, actually. I like the fact that it's the only one, because then you know that everybody who's donated stuff, it'll be here. So you're you not gonna miss to, out, yeah. You don't yeah. have to miss out, like, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Karma's having a nap, so that should give us some time to have a look. Look, you drive your own little Ferrari, Sienna. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so where should we start? Should we look at like the toys and things first? It'd be oh, nice yay. if there's a baby seat. I know, there's some things. Well, yeah. Right, there's oh, some there. there. I can see yeah. some there. And then maybe we could also see if there's any more upstairs. What do you think of this, Karma? Do you like it? Look, I found that. Hello Kitty. You think that looks good? We'll take that as a when yes. When she wakes up, she'll be so happy. Yeah, no, it looks good. A little play mat. It's pretty cool. Okay, guys, so we've been looking around and at the 
the shoe section, there's quite a lot of designer shoes, but I think they are. Like for this one, for example, it's Fendi, and this is made in Italy, and these look like genuine ones, and I don't know how, I think they're 30 dirhams. And these are actually size 39, which is my size. Not that I ever really wear heels, let's try them on and see what they look like. But I think lots of people donate things here. Like where, because everyone in Dubai, they wear a lot of designer clothes. They're too high for me. But look, what do you think, Mia? Wow, they the, must be difficult to walk in. I know, and the 30 dirhams, which actually works at how many pounds? Um, Size six, yeah. Six pounds for those. Wow. So this is an amazing find, guys. Are you right there? What have you found? Well, how does anyone even walk in there? Wow. Like, literally. You don't walk far out of a taxi into a bar. <laughs> Or a restaurant. How does that not break? I really like that. It's it's how many dirhams are they? Don't be silly. <laughs> they're, Can they're, I have they're, them? they're only 20, they're four pounds. Okay. Over here we have some Valentino shoes. Now whether these are genuine or not, I'm not sure. How many dirhams are these? It doesn't actually say. But there's three oh. pairs here. These are 30. Wow, look at those. It's a good little find as well. What we've got in there, we've got Armani, we've got Guess, we've got Lipsy, we even found some Fendi in there as well. So we're now going to go and get the Metro home and then we're going to go in detail through all of this stuff, what we've got and we're going to show you. It's so exciting guys. Welcome to our review of Dubai's one and only... <laughs> Welcome to our review of Dubai's one and only thrift store. What, what, what? What? So, what we got for Karma guys from the thrift store, we actually looked around and there weren't actually any like bumbo seats, we really really wanted to get her one, however we saw this really cool Hello Kitty play mat, it's actually a two in one play mat because it turns into a cube for when she's a little bit older she can stand on her own, look how cute that little girl looks, and it says try me, and it works, what's that called? I <laughs> think she's licking it, what's that? This cost, well originally it was meant to be 120 dirhams, but for some reason, we, we didn't know this guys, but we went into the charity shop and the guy said that there's 75% off today and for this day only, like we came in on like a freaky day, like everything, everything was 75% yeah. off, so this whole lot, what we got, came to 13 pounds, which was a real bargain when you see yeah. what wow. we've got in this bag, so this cost about 6 pounds in English currency, so let's go and open it up for karma. Ooh. So it's brand new. Brand new. Look at this camera. She's oh. skewing around. Look at that. that. If we wanted that? something that she could sit I like it. and play with. We won't set it up now, but <gasps> Wow. <laughs> this little kid is excited. So we'll just bring this over for her now and that'll keep her amused while we go through all the stuff. But this looks amazing. Brand new. No like baby stuff on it or baby poo. Because babies ruin stuff, don't they? Wow, it looks good. Anyway, we'll set that up in a bit, but we'll just let her play. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, guys. Basically, some people obviously must just buy things and never even take them out of the bag. So the box was a bit bad, but the actual thing's completely brand new inside. We're going to have loads of fun with this. We will set it up in a second, Karma, okay? There's this bit in here. Which, which goes inside on. there. Yeah, Ciel is very excited about it as well. Maybe there's a VTech on it, so I think it was like Hello Kitty, but then it's by VTech, which is like a well known baby toy brand. This is what Sienna found, didn't you? So I found this art kit. This looks really fun. It's a scrapbook. I'm so excited to use this. What's this special about it though? Work. What do you really like about it even well, more? Look, it's soy inks. Soy ink. And wow. recycled paperboard. Wow. Which is really handy. Yeah. And this was. Five dirhams, but then obviously with the 75% off, I can't remember how much that was, but about about 150. About one pound yeah. fifty for this brand new. In no, 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 about one one dirham fifty. Dirham 50. Oh, so what would that be? <laughs> one dirham is. It's about 30. The 40p. Wow, yeah. really wow, guys. So cheap. 40p. This is going to keep Sienna really amused. And I really, really like the, the fact that it's eco as well. I think yeah. she bought this anyway, regardless of that. That's just like an extra bonus. There's so much for her to do in here, making up. And what's really cool, she can maybe make a scrapbook of her whole time here and collect yeah, things and put tickets really in there. That. So we've been doing lots of like um, things like we're going to go to museums and we'll be visiting places. Darren found this set here so we can go to the beach or to the park and we can play bat and ball. One little downside, the ball has got a little bit deflated. This actually says AED zero, so it costs nothing. 
Is that correct? Really? Yeah, Wait, z- yeah. Was, was zero good. dirhams. I don't know how many dirhams this was. Did you ask, did you find out, or did you just grab it because you knew that would be good value anyway? Because this receipt is a little bit confusing. It doesn't actually say. I don't yeah. know how much this cost. It was probably dirt cheap. Sorry, we don't know how much exactly this cost. Probably about 5p. Yeah, yeah about 20p on or something. On the label, no, it says 10 dirhams on this label. Ah. So 10 dirhams, but 75% off that will obviously be 2.5 dirhams, which would then be how much in pence? Uh, 20p. 40p. 50p. 50p. 50p for these are really, yeah. really good. Oh, hello, Karma. Do you want to have a look at those? Me and Mia looked through all the stuff. So obviously what we saw in there, we saw like the Fendi shoes, we saw loads of Valentino, which I feel like they were perhaps fake. They, yeah. they weren't real leather, because normally designer shoes are real leather or they're like high quality um, vegan leather. And yeah. um, they looked really cheap. And there was, there's three pairs in there, different sizes. Also, there are very high stilettos, which I obviously don't wear. That's not my point what I'm getting to. Wear, it's yeah. basically the Fendi shoes didn't want to get them because they were leather and they were too high. And then the other ones, I think they were fake. But it's just really interesting. We did actually see designer things in there, like yeah. the Fendi shoes. However, we did look through the women's stuff mm-hmm. and we actually found some good things. You looked in the kids section and do you want to yeah, explain what you got? Something. So the other day I went to River Island and I found loads of good clothes. But look what I found in the thrift store. Some clothes from wow. River Island. And these are the exactly types of bottoms that I've been looking for. So these are from the kids section. They're age nine, so they're a little bit smaller than what no, no, I you, usually you were trying for. on age nine in there. I was like, she age was 10. literally trying on age nine. No, I actually even got nine for you. Oh, and okay, we yeah. was looking for this exact style yeah, of so like clothing. Very nice. And they're white, so they'll be nice yeah. and cool. Oh, sorry, I'm like Given a gift for a few hair, the you got. But they're gonna go with everything that's just perfect. Yeah, yeah it has some nice, modest, floaty, cool clothing here. And it's River Island, so it's not like an expensive designer brand, but it's like a cool, it's a good, trendy, it's a good shop. high street. So shop. this says price five dirhams. This was before the discount. Yeah. What a bargain. Really nice. Yes. We'll give them a wash and they'll come out as good as new. Yeah. Really good condition, actually. Mm. Yeah, especially for white. So Mia, you'll probably, you'll probably see what? Mia wearing them yeah. loads of things, won't you? I so I think on the next um, lot is my stuff, isn't it? Yeah. So right, I'll start with one um, dress which I saw, which actually is like, it has no label in there, as in I don't know what brand it comes from. So this that's not that exciting because it doesn't like say it's from like a good like, shop or brand. However, I thought it was a really, really beautiful dress. In the charity shop, there were so many glamorous evening dresses. I feel like the women around here like to wear really glamorous things. And I saw this and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that is it looks really, really, really nice, nice and stretchy. Yeah. If it doesn't fit me now, it's definitely going to fit me soon. So I might save that. I don't know, Dara, maybe like a date night or something. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, it looks nice. So, really beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to try that on in a bit. Ooh. And then I find some other things which were like really cool brands in there. I feel like with fresh shops, you have to go in at the right time. So you could go in a month later and there may be loads of stuff there because someone's yeah. donated stuff. So I feel like we did, we, when we went in there today, I felt like we found some good stuff, but I feel like it wasn't like obviously the, the, best, time. the best time to go yeah. in there. But when can you say it's a good time? I suppose because it was 75% off, other people may have gone there that day because they yeah. may have known about it. So maybe lots of the stuff have gone. Okay, anyway, I got this. I found this and this is a really beautiful dress and this is from Lipsy. And this was, oh, it doesn't actually say, oh, it actually says 40. They've um, put some pen on there and it's 40 dirhams. But then obviously we had a 75% off. And this is really, really nice. It's in really good condition. A really nice smart dress. It's lovely, isn't it? And I feel like clothes from dresses from Lipsy, I can't remember. I feel like they're quite priced, don't they? It's quite like a high end, high street shop. And um, I feel like this is really beautiful and it's in really good condition and it's my size. And yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. So if you want, it's like a really nice fancy dress for a night out. I've just found a bargain there. Looks lovely. Yeah. I've also found, which is quite exciting, I found an Armani skirt. So a really nice, long, modest skirt, really smart. Giorgio Armani with the tags on. And then that says it's 20 dirhams. And then obviously I had the discount. So here's my, quite a nice nude, long skirt. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit me or not, but that looks amazing. And then what else did I find? Oh yes, the last item, I found this. Guess, brand new, with the labels, Guess dress. And I feel like this will be really nice for cover up on the beach. I don't know if I'm holding it up correctly. It's got loads of detail to it. Behind there, there's Guess Los Angeles. And then it's got all of the labels in place. This was selling in the charity shop for 30 dirhams. And obviously they had the 75% off 
as well. So even all these items pre-discount, they were a bargain anyway, so. Yeah, to give you a quick update, 10 dirhams is roughly two pounds, just a little fraction over two so pounds. So, six so pounds. it would have been six pounds, but obviously it was so significantly pounds. less. Yeah, yeah. so it's like one pound 50. So I feel like we found some really good things in there. Like I said, I reckon if we like went in there every week, that just could become like really, yeah. really good fun. But we did have to really, really look in there. There's loads of stuff in there. It's like ram packed. And it's like, I don't know if any of you guys like doing that, like just looking through things is kind of fun. It's probably going yeah. back to your ancestral roots of like hunting and stuff and like trying to <laughs> yeah. find something. It was kind of good fun. I feel there. like charity shops are cool because they're kind of a bit boutique-y. Like that's kind of what my boutiques are like, aren't they? Where you have to go through and have a yeah. look and go on a bit. So I feel like it's worth like going in there, but unfortunately we didn't get a Gucci bag like some other no. YouTubers as well. <laughs> but we did get some good stuff and I'm really, really pleased. Look how happy Kamra is with her like, plastic bottle. Bottle. <laughs> bottle, the bottle and orange. This is what she loves playing with, like fruit, which because she can't actually eat that yet. And then like just plastic bottles. <laughs> just typical, isn't it? Like, it's like the cardboard, cardboard box scenario at Christmas. And you had a look, you didn't really look at any of the men's stuff, did you? You weren't that bothered about it. Nope. I feel like me and me are more excited. Yeah. But I'm just really pleased with what we've got. And that's just a nice different experience because when we went to the neighborhood, that was like a different part of Dubai. It was like the non-touristy area. So we like discovered like new things and we haven't been there before. So that was like a nice like yeah. day out in a way. What, 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 what? Hope you've enjoyed watching this video, Fizz Fam. Let us know in the comments section what has been your most favourite item which you found, like the most bargain-tastic item you found in a charity shop, at a car boot, at a second-hand shop, antique shop, what well, there's also flea markets, or even just in a regular shop when they've had a really cool sale on. So as you can see, Sienna is really loving her new little craft set. Yeah. She's ready at work at it. And Darren and Mia, they're trying to build this for Karma, who's been very patient, but you're getting very excited, aren't you? Good you're time. absolutely loving it. They're just done that, guys. And I'm gonna be trying on my clothes later and see how well they fix. There wasn't actually a change room there, which is a little bit annoying. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on your dose of happiness. Because every time we make a video, guys, our aim is to make you smile, laugh, feel inspired and motivated in one way or another. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video and we love you so much and we'll see you soon. Stay busy!